In science fiction, one of the most common topics is virtual reality. A reality that we perceive through computers and other technologies. A reality that does not exist, but more like an illusion. Video games like Grand Theft Auto and The Sims are sophisticated simulators of the real world. They have their flaws, of course, but they are governed nonetheless by the same principles we call reality, such as gravity, day and night cycles, inertia, and others. These video games are imperfect replicas, but akin to the real world. And their success is a bond by their capacity to recreate it faithfully. Errors and bugs can effectively ruin the sense of immersion and detach the individual from the illusionary world, thus depriving its quality. These open world simulators are a testament of the human race's capabilities and abilities to emulate the real world. This is an example of the technological progress of our species. The most impressive part of this is how fast humanity reached this level since the creation of the first computer less than a century ago. Remember, the known universe is billions of years old, and we've been able to recreate at least a fraction of our own reality virtually in less than a cosmic minute. With that in mind, ask yourself how long would it take for us to perfectly generate our own reality? And if we could populate this simulated world with self-aware artificial intelligence. As a species, if we were able to reproduce reality in a fraction of a cosmic minute, it is feasible to believe that there could exist other intelligent life forms more ancient than us that could have accomplished this much sooner and with more efficiency. It is practical to speculate what we perceive to be reality could be a cosmic simulation. It sounds absurd, but the proposed arguments might make it plausible. In fact, well-known scientists are exploring those hypotheses. This deliberation of simulation is just one of the many means scholars and scientists are using to determine the natural or artificial validation of our reality. Clearly, this is just an unproven hypothesis. How can the astrophysicist prove that we live in a virtual world? They are interested in an anomaly that gamers identify as glitch. If this is in fact some sort of advanced simulation, then just like every game, there has to be an error. That's something that can alter the artificial personality of the cosmic state. Obviously, there are doubts and disownments on the topic. Nick Bostrom, for example, he believes that if this simulation exists, we would have to affirm that the species behind this must be intelligent enough to cover up all their traces of its malevolent game. Seth Lloyd states that it isn't possible to achieve such a feat, because such a complete anatomical detailed simulation of the universe would require an unthinkable amount of energy. One of the most disturbing arguments that presents science are the subatomical particles. The cities and locations of the video games are not fully present at all times while we play the game. It only displays part of the world that can fit into the screen. In fact, sometimes while playing, we can see as the textures and or other elements are loading on screen. This happens when the computer cannot or will not load the world completely if not necessary. The universe behaves in a similar manner. In quantum mechanics, particles do not have a defined state unless they are being examined. Many theorists spend much time trying to explain this. One explanation is that we live in a simulated world and seeing what we need to see when we need to see it. Albert Einstein suspected that the same mathematics that allows us to understand the cosmos could be a sample of its own artificial nature. He said, the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it is comprehensible. In other words, the laws and principles that governs the cosmic dynamics could be lines of code made by the creator, whoever it is and wherever it is. What does this mean? 
If we concede to the hypothesis of a virtual world, everything that surrounds us lends itself to this duplicity. Maybe what we see through a telescope or a microscope only appears when we look and once we look away, the cosmic programmers eliminates them like a gif. Not only modern science instituted this hypothesis, but also certain religious like Buddhism with philosophical concepts that questions reality like the Sam Zara. Again, these are just unproven hypotheses, but they are interesting nonetheless.